Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Harold Halibut where we are on our way to uh, meet the light keepers in the toilets. So uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes and what exactly happens. Psst. Ah! Who? What? Don't panic. I'm a friend. Well, friends shouldn't scare other friends. What's this all about? Can you go into the shower and close the door? This is a strictly off-the-record conversation. Okay, I'm in. What's happening here? Okay, okay, listen. We need a man we can trust. Who is we? Oh, right. Yeah, the Light Keepers. What? The Light Keepers? Uh, yeah, that's us. Whoa. So, how many of you are there? Well, it's just me in here. But, I mean, there are lots of Light Keepers. We are Legion. I'm one of them. An important one. Wow. So, how do you know you can trust me? I mean, you can. But, how did you know that... I guess you have eyes and ears everywhere. Secret informants and... and... Yeah, all of that stuff. You can recommend it by a secret source. Right. Wow. Okay. So, what do you need? What we need is proof. All water are planning something. We know it. We just can't prove it yet. Yes. How can I get proof? I am not very actually a uh, detective. Actually? When? Oh, just listen. The shaft above here leads to the CEO's office. But we know there's going to be an important meeting happening there shortly. Ah, uh, yes, that shaft is freezing. Thanks to Slippy's new and improved AC. We know, but we planned around it. First, you'll need to procure a small camera. Our intel has narrowed the location of one down to Moreau's lab. You'll need to distract her, steal the camera, and make it back to us undetected. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Good. Time is of the essence. Meet me back here as soon as you have the goods. Will do. How do you know about the meeting, by the way? A network of hidden informants? Ah, uh, no. We just snooped in the CEO's diary during one of our open-door policy days. Oh, okay. I suppose I'd better get to it. Godspeed, Slippery Fish. Wow, I get a call name? Yes, and good luck. <laughs> hmm. Those feet are pretty small, aren't they? Like, compared to Harold's. I was wondering if, um... If it's Felix. Well? Let's go to what was asked of us. I wonder how we're going to distract Maro, though. Do we need to come up with a distraction first? I guess we'll find out. Is a science of oh, she's already... Looking for something, Harold? Uh, um, uh, I am looking for the, you know, the little video camera. Ah, uh, yes. The Pentasonic Mark II. If you say so. Have you seen it? Of course I have. What you mean is, do I know where it is now? Yes. Do you? No. Ah. I really need a professor. I'm too busy to help you rummage around. Anyway, didn't you have it last? Oh, did I? I'll check in my room. I'm sure it's not in there, though. All models are false, so all very good and well to say, but we have to base completed. our on A waste of time without more oh. information first. Okay. Blind leading the I was like, um, we don't exactly have the camera. What? Let's take a better look at this doodad. Oh, the camera. Excellent. <laughs> well, that was easy. Well, I wonder if my source data is erroneous. I'm sure I checked my calculations. You're blaming the source data now? I'm not blaming it. I'm <laughs> They're still having the same argument that they were having in our previous episode. And I guess that is keeping Maro pretty handily distracted 
So yeah, let's go see what's next. Okay, here you go. Let's see. Yes. Perfect. Let me just make a few quick modifications. <laughs> uh, what's all this? Modal cam. Huh? What's it going to do? Mobile secret reconnaissance, of course. Come on, let's get going. We don't want to miss anything important. Okay, so what should I do with it? Start by placing it in the shaft. Then you'll need to use the remote controls to navigate it to the CEO's office. Then you'll need to find a good view to record it all from. Drive it back out of the shaft and into our welcoming arms, all in the name of truth. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. You don't want to drive? Uh, uh, I would, but uh, I'm not so good with remote spatial awareness. And, you know, someone like you has experience with control panels. Oh, well, if you're sure. Right, old Moto Cam. Let's take you for a drive. Okay. Pulled up paper here. Whoa. Are we there yet? Backwards. Oh, I can. It's just the other button. It's weird that it doesn't tell you all the controls. Like, there is a button to go backwards. But it just doesn't tell you that. Are we there? Okay, Madam CEO, I'll be going now. Yes, I believe you shall. Godspeed, Slipmire. Godspeed. Yes. Is that Dr. Computer? What? It's me, Castle Chop. The password. Oh, for goodness sake, must I? Okay, fine. It's Kutsu Hung Shiny Prize. I'm just calling to say you may commence stage D as discussed. Do you have everything you need? Very well. Keep me in the loop. Time is of the essence. Yes, yes, okay, okay. Goodbye, Doctor, and don't let me or the fedora down. Righto. Eight, R, three, N, N, four. Open. Oh, hello, my lovelies. Listen to your beautiful purring. So nearly a perfect harmony, but just missing that one last voice. I'll find you one eventually, wherever you are. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh, gee. What can you see? Don't shut me out here. I'll tell you later. Got to get to the lab. Slippery fish, wait, what about the mission? Uh, wait, wait, what did you see? Slippery fish, you can't go without a debriefing. Come back. Okay. 
Can we actually... No. We can't. It wouldn't have taken all that much time to tell them. Whoever they are. Hmm. I guess we'll go show Moro. Professor, Psy! Oh, hey, Harold. What's got you more jumpy than a caffeinated frog, hmm? Wait till you see this. I'll just get it hooked up. Okay, I'm waiting. Phase D? Dr. Computer? This opens a whole box of questions. Uh, if you ask me, it's more of a parcel of intrigue. I wasn't and won't be asking you. Anyway, only one thing is for certain in all this mess. We must continue with the alternative start sequence post-haste. How on Fedora did you get this, Harold? It's a long story, <laughs> but it all started when I... I'm sure you were very heroic, but it can wait. We've got to act fast. And we should be careful who we trust. Quite so. In fact, Cyrus, I think you should continue your work in the small room downstairs. It's out of sight and should have what you need. Okay. The really small one? Don't whine. Anyway, I have to see Bridget to tell her about all of this. Harold, can you take the box of computer stuff downstairs for Cyrus? Will do. Great. Okay, everyone. Let's get on with it. Okay. Bring the box to Cyrus. Ah, that's the box. Why couldn't Cyrus have just taken this with him? I mean, he was just here. And he left empty-handed. Like, why couldn't he have carried this himself? Small room downstairs. Does it mean the, um, the one where all the plants are? I mean, there is a room in the energy district as well, where, uh, where Cyrus did a lot of work. But, like... She did say small room downstairs. And this is downstairs. Oh, that one. Hmm, but if that equals x minus 1, what about... But that would change the square of... Um, Psy? Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hmm. I've got this box of computer stuff for you. Oh, uh, thanks, Harold. Uh, just put it on the table. Sure you don't need me to stick my screwdriver in anything? Hmm? What? No, no, I think it's fine. I was just... remember when... Anyway, what are you working on? Well, this place isn't exactly my usual setup. I need to expand the filter station control system with these parts. Then I can run the tests I need and access the thrusters. Drat, this is going to be tricky. Different gens of Servotech. The old Fedora firewall's blocking me out, so that the connections might not talk properly to each other. Oh no, that'd be lonely. Yeah. Reckon you could go ask Rafi if they can help open a few ports and maybe disable the firewall? I've not a moment to lose. Sure. What should I tell them? Uh, just that I need their system protocol expertise. Appeal to their vanity? Can do. Back soon. Wow. Not even a fake apology for the uh, stunt with the, the screwdriver and the electrocution. And I mean, Harold did mention it, so that would have been a great uh, opportunity for him to say, yeah, sorry about that. But uh, no... Harold doesn't seem too bothered by it, though, but uh, I sure am. Destination chosen. We hope you enjoy your all-water tube system journey. 
Cyrus is definitely on my black you list arrived. now. Have you checked your pockets before leaving? So Rafi is the person in the um in the kind of gaming place. Hello, how are you doing today? Warren? Warren of Warren's Water Wieners fame, no less. What's the gourmet scene around the ship like at the moment? Good question. Cherry Bottle Stop is the real authority, of course. But I would say things are looking pretty innovative. Even old school hangouts like Charlie's Silly Chili Grilly is modernizing, trying out new flavor profiles and offering some lighter options. Let me know if you ever need any more recommendations. I've been around the whole ship like a cake frosting. So I know what's what when it comes to food. Ah, nice. Okay, I think... Uh... I think it's here. Hello, Rafi. Rafi? What is it now? Cyrus needs help with some pretty important research. So I came to ask, is there any chance you could help disable a firewall for him? It's stopping him from accessing the systems he needs for the research. Could you be any less specific? Uh, no, but... Of course. I know what you mean anyway. Oh, how... I mean, great. So you'll help? Afraid not. Any system Cyrus is struggling to access is old. That stuff isn't my responsibility anymore. I know, but it'd be a huge favor. Plus, messing with that might have knock-on effects. Might even mess with my cabinets here. Oh, I see. Well, um, any tips for doing it ourselves? Have you tried turning it on and off again? Oh, I'll suggest it. Thanks anyway, Rafi. Okay. Cell phones would be really handy around here. Like, uh, they have spaceships and everything, but no cell phones. How are you today? Mr. Seventeen? Mr. Halibut? Oh. I'll be going. Thanks, Mr. Seventeen. Always a pleasure. I guess we don't have anything further to talk about then, now that the whole Black Sheep Brother thing is done. Destination decided. Enjoy the view. You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. What? Bird! Hang on. That's Zoya's bird. Zoya's bird, huh? Oh, geez, bird. Good shot. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Now, do you have any idea what this feathery menace is doing here? He could have damaged all sorts of sensitive equipment. <sighs> yeah, I think I might have an idea. I'll deliver her back to her rightful owner. Okay, if you say so. Just see that she doesn't get loose in here again. Captain-at-Large Zoya? 
Hello again. Uh, Coco! Yeah, I found her in the lab. She seemed very excited about something. Is she okay? Yep, I think so. Moreau had to help me catch her. Hence the net. Ah, oh, Coco, you mischievous little thing, you. Causing your captain to worry and making trouble for everyone. Don't ever change. Well, I'm glad you're back together. Thank you, Harold. If you ever want to come and visit, please feel free. You should see her peeling a nut. It's hilarious. And the way she dances when I put music on. Thanks, Hoya. I might pop by another time. See you, Coco. Okay. okay. <laughs> Catching Coco. Hmm. Okay. Was that like... Was that an elevator? <gasps> oh, hello. That was pretty cool. So that leads here then. What about when we go out the door? Where do we end up then? <laughs> Is that a little bit of exploration here? So if we go up... Oh. The answer is, we can't go out the door. We have to use this here. This is our way of getting into here and out of here. Okay then. Right. So, back to the lab and... Uh, let's go see Cyrus. Oh, should Have we go and um, visit the utility district? You may now exit the tube. See about reading Thank another letter. Thank you on behalf of the All Water Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Hello, what's going on here? Um, I guess I can't talk to you. Um, yeah. Let's go read another letter. Destination determined. And then now, we'll go tell Cyrus. Water. You're here. Thank you for choosing all water tubes. Uh Hey folks. Regret to say, I won't be able to make the rounds at the moment. Sorry. And thank you for your continued trust in the Popo Postal Service. Buddy. Huh. Okay. Sonny? Sup, Harry? Mm. What's new with you? Well, I'm starting to think about my next adventure. I've learned a lot here, but it's kind of a dead end. Oh, where will you go? Not sure. Something that really pushes me to break down my ego barrier and find my true calling. Maybe I'll try baked goods. Oh, I know a great donut place. I mean creating them, silly. <laughs> 
It'd be nice to bring a little delight into people's lives every day, you know? What do you think about the start procedure? Oh, I think Slippy is all show. Unfortunately, Dad has very little show, but he is all brain. If he could just swap a little bit of brain for a little show... <laughs> Plus, if you ask me, Slippy isn't taking the Archimedes principle properly into account. If we want the ice to be buoyant, the Fedora will have to displace an equal amount of water, and we don't even know if the gravity is lesser than the upward push of the buoyancy force. Given water bodies usually freeze from the top down, I don't know. It all seems a bit fishy to me. Take care, Sunny. Peace. Yeah, we did kind of already figure that uh, something is going on in the background that we don't know about. But uh, maybe we will get to know about it. Location nominated. Journey commencing. Soon. All water thanking you. Hopefully. Thank you for traveling with all water. Uh, Harold? Here we go. And back to the all lab. Water. Moving people every day. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. I You're don't welcome. think we had anything. Yeah, just tell Sai that uh, Rafi refused. So let's go down there and into the very small room. Hey, Sai. Bad news. Rafi couldn't help. G good news! I got it working. How? Uh, yeah, typical, right after you left. Uh, uh, sorry, I forgot to message you. I got distracted verifying part one of my double checklist uh, by testing the velocity of a plant stock in a variety of energetic states while varying the atmospheric pressure. Harold? Mm hmm. Yes? Well, uh, thanks for asking him, though. That's okay. Good luck with the rest of the checklist. Yes, I'll get back to it. Hey, Harold. What do you say to a drink or two? They're on me. I'm at the beer zone whenever you're ready. Uh, sure. Drinks with Tommy. Let's go. It's at the arcades, right? All water compliments you on your choice of destination. All water, we get you where you're going. Yeah, here we go. Hey there, Tommy. Oh, Harold, you came. Sit down, let me get you a drink. Thanks, Tommy. I'll have whatever you're having. A man of fine taste. So, how's life? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary whatsoever. Definitely just the same as always. Okay, then. So, hey, I wanted to say about that blue rock. Ah, it wasn't your fault, Tommy. I know, I know, but boy did I feel like I had egg on my face. Those darn light keepers, eh? Always messing about in other people's business. Yeah, but I don't think they're so bad. I'm sorry they smashed your window, but they seem to have good stuff in mind. Well, you've got good stuff at heart, and you didn't need to break my window. 
But hey, what do I know? How is the shop going? Oh, uh, just fine. The sign has given things a bit of a boost, but new stock has been a bit slow. I'd love to scale back the time I spend there a bit, you know? Spend more time with Bridget. Especially now she's working so much again. Yeah, it must be hard. Life has definitely become more busy recently. You got that right. It's good to have someone to talk to. Someone who doesn't mind my grouching. No way do I mind, Tommy. Grouch all you want. Thanks, Harold. I'll get back to grouching soon, but hey, how about you? Those filters keeping you on your toes? The filters? Why? Have you seen something? What? No, no reason at all. I got no special interest in the filters. Just making conversation. I haven't heard from Filter Frankie in a while. Guess he's taking it easy. Oh, sorry. Well, the filters are also totally normal, just like always. Okay, good. Well, here's to the filters, eh? Long may they remain at optimal capacity. Cheers. Cheers. So, come on. You must have something you want to grouch about. Well, sure. But I try not to, you know, focus on it. Come on, come on. It's your turn. Don't make me do all the grumbling. Okay. Well, the tube tickets are pretty annoying. The rules change faster than I can keep up. I swear they do it just to confuse you into making mistakes so they can fine you. And it's not like they work all the time anyway. So what are you paying for? I just wish it was easier to get around, you know, without worrying all the time. Okay. So, I guess that's the end of another day. Tommy? It's gotten late. I, I think I should... I think I should get back home. Okay, Harold. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for sharing a few drinks with this old grumbler. Get home safe. Did we get home safe? Apparently. At least we got home. Look after Fishy. Well, it's been about 30-ish minutes. So I think we'll go see Fishy in the next episode. Um, yeah, things are definitely, um, getting more interesting with us hopefully soon learning more about the secret goings on. Um, well, we'll see. Uh, anyway, for now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you again next time. <laughs>